best product in the world, but if you don't have a business model that allows clients to buy at a reasonable price, you're in trouble. And and I guess all I'll say about that is Logitech is one of the world's great distribution organizations. It, most people don't think of it in those terms. They think, oh, they make great webcams for $100 and they're in everywhere from CDW to Fry's. You can buy or airport vending machines. You could buy a Logitech product. That matters. That's the sort of technologies or, or business processes that take 20 years to build. And none of your competitors seem to me to be in that position. No, I agree. And, I, and it's one of the things that attracted me to Logitech because I I'd always worked at smaller companies and people say, well, what do you like about working for a bigger company? And I think one of the things that I've struggled with always is you, you start as a startup and then you build this great technology and then you go, oh my God, I have to spend a hundred million dollars and hire all these people all around the world to build a distribution network. Whereas the opportunity here for me is I could go out and work with the team to build some cool products and then immediately get it into, you know, a hundred countries worldwide. That was really compelling. Yeah, it's fun. I talk about in my book, um, which I have to bring up, this is being, after all the Accession Events podcast, I talk about how it's actually much easier to sell one million dollar product than it is to sell a million one dollar products and make money um to have the infrastructure to allow that is really hard and the whole idea that a startup or a you know small company can scale like that is silly even in the cloud world there's just not enough stuff you can do that allows you to get to that size in any meaningful way well and i'll even add something to your example i think it's even harder to build a company that sells 100,000 units at $100. Because when you're selling something at a dollar each, you can be mass market, consumer, no customer service, yeah. all brand oriented. When you're selling a million dollar product, that's all hand by hand combat sales. When you're doing what we're doing, you really have to have everything across the company to be very efficient and have a global supply chain and keep your costs down, but um, massive scale on the distribution side. And, and I think if you look in the world, there are very few companies that have actually been successful at being in that middle tier. It's very hard. 